Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a treat to show off today. This is not my guitar, but it's made its way into my jam room. This is a Fender Custom Shop No Caster, 51 No Caster with a light relic. So it's a recreation, it's not an actual vintage instrument, but you'd look at it and think it was. They've done a great job on this. This was originally called a broadcaster, and there was already something called a broadcaster made by Gretsch. Yeah, it was a drum set. It was a drum set made by Gretsch with the name broadcaster, spelled with a K, so not even the same spelling, but rather than go through legal action and just to avoid the, uh, the whole issue, uh, the story is that Leo Fender removed the name from the headstock, and that affected approximately 400 and 475 guitars. So you'll see here, there's no, there's no Telecaster. Ah, sorry, there's no Broadcaster. I want to call it a Telecaster. That's, a, that's another story. There's no Broadcaster on this. So it got the nickname No Caster. So we will get into some playing. Let's go over the specs. This is a nitro finish on an ash body. It's a, a one-piece U-shaped neck, so it's chunky. It's like a baseball bat. So I guess this is called a, a light relic. And they've gone and, you know, it's dinged up a little bit. They've gone and made the hardware actually rusted. Um, the fretboard's worn down. The neck's got some wear on it. So with the guitar, you get your standard molded case that you would get with the custom shop. They also went ahead and you'll see some other pictures, and included a tweed thermometer case. It's a gold, lush gold. That just looks awesome. That's pretty cool. And then all the case candy, I'm not even gonna open this. It has the ashtray cover, vintage ashtray cover. What's in here? More tags, the actual key, stuff like that. Yeah, beautiful. And so I guess this would have been the case you would have had with a, a 51 no caster back in the day but today's gigging musician this thing will probably not last very long it's a fabric so I mean you take this around and it's gonna get worn out so they gave you the molded case as well which is pretty pretty smart and you're paying a lot for this thing so they, they want to keep you happy right let's get into it and here's some tones let's go through my Box AC-15, so let's go ahead with that. All right, on a modern day Telecaster, in this position, you'd have the bridge. This would be your volume, this would be your tone. But apparently this is actually blending the neck and the bridge with the tone dial. So this is still a volume. Anyways, let's just play and check it out. Ah, uh, let's dial down that. So that would typically be your tone dial. Let's hear the difference with that now. What is it cutting out? It's a mystery. All right, back on. Off. Okay, let's go into, uh, so this is just the neck now. And the, normally the tone dial has no effect now. It's just a dead, it's a dead knob. Dead knob.
Now the neck, like I mentioned before, base. This is just for base. This knob is dead again and it's muted, it's muted and it's low volume, I don't know. Modern day, I don't think you'd have much use for this. They're trying to keep vintage, right? They're trying to go with the original, how it actually was back then. Today, I would never use this. Sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, anyways, that's how we say uh, anyways in Canada. We're gonna crank up the amp a little bit and get some, some more dirt coming out. Single coils, eh? Twisted single coils. That's the AC-15 at 3 o'clock. <clears throat> cool. Let's max it out. Max it out and give it the old... Wow, for a single coil, really bites, eh? I mean, has a biting tone. Doesn't, I don't mean it sucks. All right, thanks for checking it out. In the meantime, there's a couple other videos you can watch. And like and subscribe if you haven't already done that. See you again.